Okay. Close that down. And you really need to move my truck. So I can see what the hell I'm looking at. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, I don't have audio on for the game. Whoopsie daisies. Alright, let's see what my opponent's done. Oh, he full. Jesus Christ. So, this is definitely going to be a loss then because he didn't drop a single fight. Nothing. Not a single thing. I might also need to change my target complete, but. Hi, Carol. How are you doing? Uh, okay. Hope I gotta be extremely careful with this Grand Arena now because, yeah, he didn't drop a single fight. So this is gonna be fun. That makes me wonder if he has any GLs in the back. Uh, I mean, I'm okay. I gotta think what I'm gonna do against this trench team. I don't think I wrote anything down for it yet. So, let me look for that real quick. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Django and Dooku. Um, I may just do JMO. Okay, but yeah, I gotta play catch up and uh, not fail in fights. So, yippee, I'm not excited about this in the slightest. Luckily, no Datacron with this Sauna team. Um, because, you know, gear 11 um, on there. Kind of makes things a little simplistic for me. Hondo with no Ami is nice as well, so... Alright, Bad Batch, let's, uh... Give her a stab in the dark. Um... See if we can stun everyone. We did. Awesome. But of course she went to stealth. Because of course she did. Yeah, he he doesn't have any GLs out front. That doesn't mean he doesn't have any in the back, but he one-shot legitimately every single thing on my defense. So I'm leaning towards he didn't put any GLs down, but I'm not holding my breath. Luckily, um, there is no Reva. Well, he doesn't have Reva, so, um, you know, that's a good thing. The problem is he has a 7-star Leviathan, though, so that could be a bit of a problem. And I worry about this team because of the Sith Trooper Kron. Um, extra health protection. There is no defense, which is good, but there's a chunk of crit damage. And that, um, that worries me some. Um, go with this. Yeah, yeah, I'll need the luck. I'm gonna need the luck. Um, go with this. Maybe it'll help keep them alive a little longer. We'll see. Hmm. Okay. Kick you in the face and not land stun. That's cool. Okay. Almost got him. There we go. Now for this trooper. 
Hi, Lord Necron. How you doing? How's everybody doing today? <laughs> A little more healing. Big hit? Uh, not big enough. Okay, thank you, Mace. <laughs> Well, that's good. No, I don't. I don't want to like. The reason why I don't do the streams on Sunday evening is because I don't want to like overlap into jam. So. Also, we can watch me uh, get upset whenever I don't roll any speed rolls from a uh, conquest current uh, rewards in a little bit. So, there's that as well. Okay. Um. This one might be a little hairy because they have extra uh, health protection. Because I'm going to go with Dash, Han, and um, Chewie. And hope I can just blitz them out. Luckily, I do have some armor pin stuff I could probably run with, so... Um, I'm going to go with this one. A little bit of extra crit damage as well. All right, Wampa Soul of the Resistance. Uh, no, I'm gonna eye in it to death. No, that's not good. Um, okay, I don't need to be losing banners here. But, uh, that happened anyway, so... Oh well. Ugh, that's not good. Um, let's see. No, I have my little notepad over here I'm writing... I'm checking off teams that I've used. Extra health and protection, again. Lovely. Okay, little troopers... Item, range, and death. Oh, uh, what do we want to take? Eh, why not? We'll take that. All right. The good thing is there is no Zori, so then we'll get to hide behind her stupid Omicron. So I'm happy about that. And then I can just take out Resistance Hero Finn immediately. So. Let's go ahead and get the heal up. Stomp the ground. Now we're going to go for Poe. Now for Finn. And that was easy. Nice. Okay, let me step out real quick because I got to check the AC to see if it is running or not. Oh, wait, I can just check right here. Sorry about that. Apparently I get to play handyman and check that sporadically throughout this because my whatever the hell's in the house is flooded with water, so I have to keep emptying it out. Yippee. Um, we're just going to JML this with uh, Hoda and Jedi Knight Luke. Mostly because... Ooh, why not? Um... Eh, why not? A little extra defense never hurts you. Okay. 
Let me see what's going on on Discord. Okay. Um. Yeah. Do that. Go ahead and get Luke running. Stun them all. The quicker I kill Trench, the happier I will be. I should have just done the uh, special, but oh well. It is what it is. Uh, it's, I know it's not going to damage Django, but... Um, I need Django to take a turn. There we go. Alrighty. Uh, 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 um. I wish Dooku would come out of stealth, but oh well. Oh, whales. And there we go. Alright, let's see what he's got in the back. Because I didn't write any GLs down on using outside of thinking about JML being used because I didn't know it was in the back. Okay, well, um... Well, damn, I have I have a lot of free reign here now. Okay. The sortie team will be a bit of an issue, though. I need to figure that one out. Um, I know a lot of people are setting it because of the shenanigans, Droidica and Grievous entail. Let's see. Wampa only has a 73.5% win ratio against that. Ugh, that's not... Okay, that's not where the one I would see. Um, okay, let me just, I guess, go and knock out some of this up north real quick. Because I know what I'm doing on some of them. Uh, we're gonna tray uh, this real quick. Um, where it is... There they go... Uh, we'll take that. Actually, uh, let's find some protection. Oh, I did forget I have this. I could use that. All right. Okay. Cool down increase, maybe? Yes, on everyone. There we go. Exactly what I wanted. Uh, let's go ahead and isolate you, because I don't want you hiding all the damn time in this fight. Oh. I can do that in a second. About a book. Oh, I thought I'd have cool. I thought I'd have enough cooldowns. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay. Uh, let me do something real quick. I'm putting up a poll to ask if y'all got max crate or not with this conquest. Especially with the changes that they did stealthily, you know, like with gas being removed from a uh, usage against um what's her name? Reva's fight. And then uh you know uh Phoenix stuff being stealth fixed. That's fine, we didn't want to know about that anyways. And with Sari, we did not. Hmm, am I going to need C anywhere? No, we'll just take him here. C, um... A little bit of extra protection, why not? Oh, now i got to think about what teams I can lowball. Successfully, I should say. Because, um... Yeah. That high of a score is going to be very difficult to beat, if at all. But I guess time will tell, huh?
Let's uh, heal up on him. I know it's not going to do anything. Oh, I killed him. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. I forgot. Oh, Cam was gear 12, that's why. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. And I can't even heal now anyways. Bastards. Okay, now I can heal a little bit. There we go. What? Unuse. Oh, okay. Okay, what are we gonna do against Ray? I wonder. Ray Jedi training. What do people? Oh, they run. Uh, Jedi Knight Revan. Okay. 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 God, GG coming in clutch. What is the data cron do? Uh, whenever they gain a buff, they recover health and protection. Oh, Lord. Okay, so that's going to be quite frequent, then. That's not really what I wanted to see, though. But, okay. Was it with this? Yeah. Okay. Um... Buh, 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 buh. Hmm. Remember getting buff to recover health protection. Do we have anything that was a little bit more though? Basics to gain speed up. Basics protection up. Um. Well. Hmm. We'll take this. I wish it was higher on stats, but whatever. Okay, um, I'm gonna go straight for you, little rolly boy. Because the quicker you're dead, the happier I will be. Jump around. Almost got him. Call him again? Nope. Okay. Uh, spin her back around. Come on, there we go. Give it to you. More buff. Okay, I wanted to mark Ray, but I guess we'll just kill R2D2 real quick then. Um. Okay. Du -du 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 -du. There we go. Easy, easy. Awesome. Okay. Not gonna decide what else I'm gonna do. Let's see, Newt. What do I want to do against you, Newt Gunray? P1 and Geo Boot Alpha. Oh, apparently Wampa works. Hmm. I'll give it a stab. Let Wampa do some things. Let her Wampa around. Where is she? There she is. Hmm. Oh, yeah, protection wise. I know it's that. Hmm. Take this. I mean, the good thing is with all this is that there aren't any um, datacrons in the back. So I'm not as worried about that stuff. It's just I want to do things cleanly as humanly possible. First for revive. Let's get a little bit of roaring going. 
Okay, there goes that one. Another roar. Probably should just basic, but really want to get the damage of ramping quicker than not. Another slam. Another revive. Okay, there goes Newt's first death. Another, another one. Hmm, maybe this will kill him. Yep. Okay. I want Newt out of stealth so I can kill him. Thank you for showing up. Now I can get rid of stupid sabotage if I feel like it. Don't know if I will or not, but... What the hell did you take against him, Thom? Like, I'm not discounting the fact that you can do damage, I'm just like, what did you take against him that made you fail? Oh. Oh, Lord. Hey, Noah, how you doing? So you took... You took... <laughs> I'm just like, you what? You what? What is... Why is it not playing? Uh-oh. I don't know why that was an arc, arc loss versus Newt. Oh, you took in shock, echo, and arc versus that. How did you fail so hard? Other than, you know, you did. You know. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. Oh. You are a brave soul to take it in. Against a team like that. Extortion, yeah. Yes, it is, but I'm just shocked that you took in that team versus um, Django and. Yeah. Ah, I forgot about that stupid revive they had because of spare parts. Oh well. Yeah, no, I can. I can, Noah. I definitely can take a look. I mean, I don't mind doing roster reviews. I don't know if I'll be the best judge of character <laughs> on a lot of things, but I definitely don't mind doing them. You know? I am slight scrub, but I mean, I, I, you know, I like to think I have a little experience, but, you know, I don't really... I don't know. Like I said, I don't mind doing it. Alright, uh... Could you please die? No. <laughs> oh my god! Holy crap. That was... <laughs> Holy crap, that was beautiful. I don't even know what to say about that. That was beautiful. Um, What is the dad crown on this? Let's see. Extra health protection. Yada, yada, yada. Defense. Ooh, they have defense, so... Hmm. We'll take Kai... We'll take Adrad. I don't know. We're just, just trying to, yep, just trying to have some fun now. It'll be a little bit no, but I definitely can. Let's see what do we got here. Can't wait till next week rolls around whenever I actually have more datacrons available. These all of like my uh, set nine ones are defense. The Walmart, it's a trap. 
I mean, definitely can be, especially with Mr. Uh, Boba over here, but like, yeah. Okay, let's go for her. As long as they keep going for Jin, things will be okay. It's just I need to get Zam out the way. Uh, let's get a little bit of healing up. Let's see what this does. No kills. Of course not. And now I've got... Zam still in stealth. Okay, there we go. She's out of stealth. That's good. Let's heal again. Now I gotta worry about Boba. Actually, can we stun him? Yes, we can. Awesome. Good lord. I was actually worried he'd come out of stealth. Not stealth, but, uh, out of stun and immediately just rocket someone to the face. Which he still can. Well, not if he rockets Jen. Never fucking mind. Ne never mind. <laughs> nope, I have Discord messages. Okay. Oh, uh, lordy, lordy, lordy. We have plenty of options now. Um, what was... Okay, I know it was a different Thrawn lineup. Thrawn. Sith. Ah! Vader lineup. For this, uh... Inquisitor team down here. What was it? Was it Vader lead? With... Oh, fifth and... Second. Okay, that's completely different to what I'm looking for. Um, let's see. Okay, let's see. Oh, I don't have Bad Batch, that's not going to help me. Oh, ninth and second. Apparently I can't read. Bad Batch. Trey, no, I don't have that. Hmm. I wonder if I should just go with the Thrawn lineup again and just smack him around. Oh, I hope I went back to YouTube. Okay. Let's see. Empire. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Empire. There we go. Thrawn. Vader. And... Okay. Um. Yeah, I know you're alright. That was some clutch AI misplays with the, um. With them just constantly going for Jin. Which you can't really complain about. I prefer them doing that than, uh, literally anything else. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and start getting some debuffs going. I need Thrawn to take a turn so I can fracture her. Can we take her out? Nope. Of course not. Thought I could, but apparently not. Let's go ahead and get rid of Purge. Okay. There goes one. Uh, kill him? Nope. Damn you, bastard. Strip your TM. Go back and merciless. A little bit of this. 
A little bit of that. A little bit of this. A bit of that. A bit of that. Oh, I forgot I had AoE available. Oh well. It doesn't matter. Okay, that was a little that was a little flimsy there, Vader. What the hell? He like tickled her. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, whoa. Hmm. What do I want to do where... The problem with the mall team is they could catch me out. A little bit. But I still have two GLs. It's like, good lord. Um, We'll give him this one. Why not? It's time for some Lord Vader solos. Oh, that was easy. Okay. With this bow team, I don't really want to solo it per se. I might take in um like the Kylos, the two Kylos I have. Yeah. Do that. Hmm. All right, let's go crush some Mandos. It's so weird seeing Imperial Super Commando and Dar Saxon on defense. I appreciate it because they're both relic, but like, uh, it's kind of a odd one to see. Like I said, it's kind of an odd one to see. All right. My only problem is, if his big fleets are on defense, that's going to make things very, very, very difficult. It's just lagging so horribly. Actually, let's do something real quick. Let's close that. There we go. Let's see, Empire. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Unaligned force user. Let's go kill him with a uh, maximum anger, shall we? Stun you. That was easy. Alright. Okay. I did what I expected. Put all the meta fleets on defense. So that means this is going to be painful. Especially with the fact that he actually has the um, Sith Assassin up front. Because Sith Assassin up front and mirrors makes things very difficult. So, uh, yeah. Let's see who goes first, because if I don't go first, then, um, it's going to be bad. I'm not trying to speed run it, it's just, with the defense is the way they are, like, it wasn't as big of a, like, worry per se. Mm, let's get some debuffs rolling, blow up their hangers, or engine I should say. Okay. 
basic from, not basic, that was a special from them. Alright, let's go ahead and heal some. Okay, there goes their bomber. I'm gonna bring in Tide Dagger. The reason why I bring in Tide Dagger now is because I get a stun off. And then the quicker I kill off Bass, the quicker this fight ends in my favor. Okay, Emperor Shuttle, interesting. And now I can blow up their hangers in a second, once I get a turn. Yep, there goes their hangers, and now it's game over. But yeah, if, pe if you see people putting... This is a little tidbit for everyone. If you see people running Sass out front and you're running Leviathan as a counter, as a mirror, uh, just play it like I have, and then do basic first with Sass, and then, you know, blow up their engines and yada yada yada. Um... We're gonna just basic. Because the quicker everyone dies, the easier... Well, okay, the quicker their bomber dies, the better things will be off for you because once the bomber's dead, they have no one to hide behind. Outside of, you know, Palpatine throwing taunt on uh, Malgus, but... I've, I've had to learn this the uh, hard way in Fleet Arena, so that's why I'm doing it this way. <laughs> Okay, let's kill Malgus, maybe? Nope. Basic. I really need Malgus dead. It's kind of being a pain in my ass. There we go. Finally got through the stalwart uh, bulkhead or whatever. Bulwark. Stout. Stout. Whatever. Whatever the hell the buff is called. I don't remember. There we go. Okay. Um... Now I gotta decide what the hell I'm gonna do against these because I don't have, don't like mirrors, but I'm probably gonna have to do mirrors. So, yeah. Let's see, rebels. We'll probably take in a couple extra bodies with me if ca in case things go haywire. Or right, an extra body, I should say. Alright, let's see how badly this goes. I'm getting extremely nervous now because we're getting near the end of it. And, uh, yeah. Let's heal up. Let's go ahead and get some assist rolling. Okay, we got some assists, that's good. Okay, they didn't kill him. That's not really what I wanted, but it is what it is. Still didn't kill him. Um, let's go ahead and call in reinforcement. There we go. Now we can go for um, dash. There we go. Okay. Well, there's all their ships. Let's go ahead and heal. Heal again. There we go. And we go for Sabine. Sure, heal, why not? Um, go ahead and give it to you. All right. Now I just need assist from people so we can start uh, destroying him. Or not. That's cool. No assist are cool. I like no assist. Of course, everything can just go completely out the window with this next fight against the executor mirror, so... Yeah. I'm not looking forward to it. Not looking forward to this. Okay. Um, where? Oh, come on. We were so close. 
so close to killing him. Damn you. Damn it. Because now they're going to heal. Yep. Ah. Uh. Damn it. Gonna call in Eben Hawk just so I can get some chafe going so that way they don't land any debuffs on me for a moment. Oh lord. Bomb him. Nice. Oh, come on. One turn off. Hmm. Not good. Good lord. That was far too close for my comfort and liking. They were literally right on the cusp of going and just, just ruining my day. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay. Now for the drum roll of how the final score is going to be. Come at me with no GLs, bitch. Take this L. Take it. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit, that was... God damn. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go see what kind of garbage we get from a uh, conquest rewards. Okay, I got literally nothing I need. I got goddamn Mark IV Carbontes. Okay, I guess I do needed these for uh, who the hell? Oh, for Night Sisters. Okay, and more Zeta mats, which I need for Ray. So I can't complain about that. All right. Um. 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 Oh, wow. That was... Yeah, that was something. Okay, let's see what kind of shenanigans we can get up with these, uh... Thin Cron... Crons. Okay, I don't really... My problem with all these... Is I don't know if I'm going to bother slicing them anymore, because they're all at three. And I'm kind of getting tired of trying with them. So... Don't really know if I'm going to continue with it. It's kind of pushed me to my limit on those, because I'm like... Do I really want to or not? More health. Well, I'll take that for hot or chewy there. That's fine. Um, I could make him faster if I slice him. The problem is, I may just need to re-roll them. Would be better. Let's be honest here. All right. Um, let's go see how this one turns out because there's one. There's a couple I need to work on still for Ray. Um, like the circle here. Alright, let's see what we get here. Oh! Okay! Uh, <laughs> that's a... <laughs> exactly what I needed. Uh, you missed all of Gak, basically. My opponent set Zippo... Um, GLs. And... I blitzed all of them. With ease. And I sliced some mods up for the hell of it. So, <sighs> I mean, the score, so he had set the tone with the score. I'll show you real quick playing. The score, he had ended up was 2062. I needed to bypass that, obviously. And I did so in a big way by winning by um, a whopping 13 points. So, uh, yeah. 
was I worried? Yes. Am I happy I won? But also yes. Okay, let me see what's going on here. Alrighty. What was... Why do I have more Discord tags? Oh, it's... Uh, platoons. Ew. Okay. Let me see what's being said on Discord this year. All right, let me see. I'll look at Noah's stuff again real quick. Um, 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 um. Let's close that. Okay, uh, let's go back up here. Okay. All right, so Noah home. I almost said Noah Homa. That's not right. <laughs> All right, so you got Executor finally, which is good. Definitely help you overall and, you know, fleets as a whole. Let's see here. What are you wanting to work on, though, Noah? What? What are you working towards, Noah? Because that'll help me, uh... That'll help me figure out what to look through and at. The first impressions, you know, the fact that you got the Slave 1, Slave 1, the Executor Fleet ready to go is good. Um, I don't know if you're working towards Leviathan or you're just working on Revan's as a whole. Because you've got Bastila and Malik Gear 12, you've got Revan Relic 3 with a good chunk of speed. I don't know what stats you have on these, though. Yeah, the potency you might want to switch out for um, uh, something else. But if it's the best you have, then that's the best you have. And you can roll with it kind of deal. Um, Where is my rev on? Oh, I have offense on mine, so... Yeah. Ah, you're meandering towards C, working on the Old Republic and Sith Empire. Okay, well, the thing is, C doesn't have a lot of overlap with those two factions, which is a problem. But if you're working on Old Republic and the Sith Empire, you might want to focus on getting these three done. Jedi, Revan, Jolie, and Bastila Shan. Juhani is also a good option to work on, just because, you know, she's a Jedi tank. Um, she works well in the Starkiller team, or teams, I should say. Uh, and then Candorus, you want to work on regardless, because he's really good. And the better, the quicker you have him worked on, the better, the quicker you'll be able to start working on the Mandalorians as well. Now for the Sith Empire, where are they? Hmm. Uh, short term, leave HK alone. Because HK does not have a home at the moment. I mean, he does have a little bit of usage with Dr. Afra, but I would work on the trio, like the OG trio of the Sith Empire. Uh, finish farming up Sith Assassin as well, because you'll need her anyways for the Leviathan whenever you get around to getting it. So there is that. You're, I mean, with you just getting Executor, I want to worry about Leviathan for a while, as it is. Um, and then set. You can push up to gear 12 or gear 13 because you'll need him and you need these two and Marauder worked on the Leviathan for the Leviathan fleet anyways. But for the Sith Empire, focus on Malik, Revan, and Basil Sean Fallen because once you have that trio going, you'll have a nightmare of a team that people can run into on 3v3 because they even still hold up really well, especially with defense crons and all that now. And then C. I gotta look up these C Rex now because I do not remember what all they are. Okay. So. Ah, yes, the Empire. 
Empire, that's where. Okay, so if you're going for C, let's see. You need Piet, Relic 5. Well, that's done already. That's good. Vader is done as well. Because he's Relic 7. Let's see. TIE Fighter Pilot's not required. We need the Bomber. We'll, slip the sh we'll look at the ships in a second. Okay, Royal Guard needs to be finished, obviously. Um, Colonel Stark needs to be pushed up to Relics. Uh, as well as Palpatine. And, yeah... Parkin as well, so hmm, for the Empire, probably need to get World Guard and Palpatine done first. Or if you want to go the route of the Imperial Trooper lineup, then you can start working up Colonel Stark as well as more of your Imperial Troopers. Because, you know, if you have more of your Imperial Troopers worked on, that will help overall. Uh yeah. Finishing Hera so you can get Thrawn. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you also need Thrawn anyways for uh, your Sith Eternal Emperor. So, finishing up Phoenix won't hurt as well. Ah, she's one star short. How close are you on her? These looks like you're pretty close. You just need gear, obviously, which is always a pain. But, uh, you know, one star away from seven on Hera is definitely worthwhile to have done him knocked out. Um, why do I... 80 shards. Ah. Where do you get her shards from? I don't remember where you get hair shards. It's been so long since I farmed her. Oh, Cantina Battles and the Guild Event Store. 400 guild. Well, yeah, just get her farmed up in Cantina real quick. It may take you a couple days, but uh, the quicker you get her done. Mmm. Mmm, yeah. There are nodes in the light side battles you can farm to get carbonite boards farmed up, and that'll help you. Let me look at your Sith, because you also need to work on Sith for the Sith Eternal Emperor. Okay, Maul's done farm. Dooku needs to be finished farming. Get, or getting farmed, I should say. Um, whoa. Let's see, Krennic. You now have Krennic unlocked. Or I just miss Krennic. Uh, you get critical unlocked as well. Yeah, just keep working away towards C if that is your plan. Let's look at your ships for C as well because you have to get tie bomber. Oh, you have tie bomber done. Never mind. Well, that's easy. That's knocked off the list. <laughs> oh, I forgot to look at uh, Anakin. Let's see. I'm gonna look at your Galactic Republic real quick. Anakin, Anakin, Anakin. Ah, oh, you gotta farm Anakin as well. Yeah, you got a lot of farming to do, but if you don't mind. You know, just grinding the farms for these characters. Anakin, Dooku, uh, Royal Guard, mm, Krennic, Sass, and all that. That's not, well, Sass isn't required for a C, but you know what I mean. Uh, getting hair finished out for Phoenix, that'll definitely help you overall. Um, oh. Eh, it's fine. You don't need to have everyone unlocked all at once. Makes for more of a headache if you do do if you do so that way. Alrighty, let's see what else we can look at here. Areas for improvement. Is there a show? I mean, I think I've done. I think I've gone over everything I can with what you're aiming towards with C. Obviously, modding. Modding also you'll have to continuously farm for those lovely things because, uh. Um, the thing is, if you don't have Malgus or the Fury class or the Mark VI um, worked on, then you're not going to be able to really get him, get the Leviathan for a long while. You also need B-28 done, you need the Sith Fighter done, you need, you need a lot of extra stuff done. So I'd probably leave, um, I'd leave Leviathan alone for now. I mean, definitely a long-term goal would be work towards it because it's a good, it's a good fleet right now. But it could be a little better off right now. Um, they have R two done. Hmm. But once you get C, I don't know which way you want to roll to because it depends on what your guilds are doing as well. Actually, I can just look at that real quick. 
just hmm what should you focus afterwards I mean maybe start working towards gas as well because that would help you because you already have the clones worked on from the looks of it and then um it'll give you access to padme or you might just want to go padme's route start working up that stuff unlock padme then gas because you need padme for gas so yeah work towards those two and it'll help you with the gr um you also have to work on your separatist sum for uh, getting padme though so hmm I know Geos are a good shout for getting Padme. And you can also just do um, like GG as well. Where do you farm on Geo Brood Alpha? Oh! I didn't realize Geo Brood Alpha was a freaking 16 energy farm. <laughs> yeah, you could also work on your Inquisitors. That's a good point. But in fact, teams, um, guilds like that will also look at beyond what you have, just like top end stuff. Like, you'll need gas to do well in that, and then you know, inquisitors and imperial troopers, Sith. There's a lot that goes into accounting for that kind of stuff. It's just I mean, you got CLS already unlocked, you got Raid Han worked on, well, unlocked, I guess I should say. Um. You don't have C-3PO or OG Chewie, so you might need to work towards those two as well, which would mean working on the Ewoks, which the Ewoks are getting a little bit of a boost anyways, thanks to Nisa and, you know, Chief Chirpa and them being, and Wicked being required for Leia. Um, oh, Bounty Hunters. That's what I going to look at. Hmm. Also, wait, do you not have Chewie unlocked at all? Because you might be able to unlock him with those bounty hunters that you have right now with these five. Oh, I haven't activated Chewie. Okay, well, as long as you have Chewie ready to go, you can also work on your rebels because rebels are also needed for Leia and a lot of other stuff like JML, Jedi Luke, and all that. So, wouldn't be a bad shout to work on those, but it depends on what you want to work on first because you have a lot of options and like different avenues you can take like bounty hunters you can work up Jabba uh rebels and Ewoks you can work up for Leia which might be your best bet right now because um with Leia being the next big juggernaut of uh GLs it might be better to work towards her I mean you'll have to farm up Akbar obviously and Lando but they shouldn't be too difficult to farm I don't think let me check because I honestly don't remember. Let's see here. Akbar. Oh, Akbar has fleet stores, the squad arena shipments, and the guild event store. While Landino is from Cantina and Guild Event stores. So And also the like if you work like you might you might as well just go the route of working on your rebels for now. After you get C done. Because you can once you get start working on Leia Rex, that'll will help you backtrack towards Jedi Luke and JML. Or you can like do something else. You can work it's more your call because if you work on the Rebels and Ewoks, it'll give you stuff for the new raid coming in probably November, December. Oh, he has Executor unlocked. He just got it uh last week, I believe. Yeah, he has Executor, he has four star. So, he has an unlocked, which is good. <laughs> it's just, you know, it depends on how you want to go about it. Because, I mean, like, going the route of Jabba wouldn't be bad. But, like, you know, um, Jabba is Jabba. And they're going to be, he's going to be losing out a little bit on his, um, is there a way to search for this? Hold on, wait. Jabba will be losing a little bit of a, edge i guess to leia because you're gonna be losing the raid that he's boosted in 
But yeah, um, hmm. Actually, the way I'm thinking it now, that might actually be a good idea, because if you go the route of Leia, like, hear me out. How far should you take Cad Bane? Cad needs to be Relic 5 anyways, for, um, someone. I believe it's James K. Yeah, Cad Bane needs to be Relic 5, so push Cad Bane up to Relic 5, and then unlock Chewie, start working on your Rebels. Work on your Rebels and Ewoks after you get, uh... Al Sith Eternal Emperor unlocked along with Thrawn. Once you get all that done, you can work on them because then you can start working towards G uh, Leia. Because there are um uh, some crossovers between her and uh, Jabba and uh, Jedi and I Luke and JML because you need uh, CLS anyways for unlocking Jedi and I Luke. So you might as well get him Relic 7. And then... Um, well, you'll also need to unlock Captain Han Solo and Rebel Officer Leia Organa, so that might be more a matter of if your guild is doing, um, the Hoth TB, which will help you there. And then, yeah. Just get CAD to set a 5 and then finish up, um, well, I don't really wouldn't worry about CAD at the moment, because you have crew, you have Crew. Oh my god. You have Chewy unlocked, so you don't have to worry about that. Just fork on farming up your Rex or the Sith Eternal Emperor. And then, um, yeah, work on the Rebels and Ewoks afterwards. I'm gonna go check to see if that stupid thing in the water has refilled or not. Because, or not water, but the AC. This is getting hot again. You're back. Sorry about that. It is getting extremely warm in my house. But if you have any other questions, Noah, please uh, shoot them my way and I can hopefully answer you. Oh, well, hopefully answer in a meaningful way, I guess. Do we not have enough tickets to launch the raid? Oh, we did. Like, I'm about to say, do we not have enough to launch it again? Good lord. Alright, let's go see what kind of... Let's... Also, don't... The... Let me check something real quick. Hmm. 
Oh, here it is. When does it start? On the 23rd. Okay, so two more days before it double drops. Yeah, Noah's account is good, especially with it being right around 1 million. It's definitely nothing to uh, slouch at, honestly. Uh, let's do three. That way I can get him done and I can save up the energy for uh, the drops. Double drops, because I will be hammering away at that. How close am I to Ray? Um... For Ray, I am at, uh, down to Resistance Trooper, Vet Smuggler, Chewy, Poe, Rose, and the Pilot. So, getting there. I don't know if I have enough of the gear I, I need laying around to make more, or more of these bronziums. Let's see. Nope. I have 15 of those. Good lord. Mm. Ah, lord. Galaxy of clicking. Fun, 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 fun. But at least I should be able to get him to Relic 5 today. They really need to make these easier to get. Instead of making them harder, but... Why is Zori on the list? It's because she's resistance. Um, outside of that, I don't know why she's actually on the list for Ray. She's not a requirement, obviously. All right, another resistance person down. Yippee. And yeah, look at the journey guide here. Resistance Trooper will finish out the first Rex. Um, and obviously these two will, yeah. At least I'm only down to one, two, five. So I can't really complain. My only worry is, is that, well, I have enough Zetas in time. I'm at 90 right now. So I need 30 more. Yippee. Alright, let's go see how bad the drops are for Seer and Co. today. Where is the best place to farm for their Carbonti circuit boards stuff? Um, I'll show you in a second. Oh, that wasn't a bad drop. I mean, if you're farming up Tarful, it'll help as well, because you can use these for it. And those as well. But that's not the best node. There are better nodes. Um. One. <laughs> mm. Thanks, Saw. Very cool. Alright, so the best nodes for that is... Where are they? Is... 1D through uh, 1F is really good. Light the 1C, basically everything after uh, 1B, like 1C through 1F is really good for farming the carbon, uh, carbonite cardboards, you know. And then for the um, bronziums, which everyone needs uh, loads of. The best place is to get them off of the Crow Shock Prod node. Not the Shock Prods themselves. Don't No, not those. But um, these. The Mark Fives. You can also get them on a Fleet node. If you're not farming up anything. But the problem is if you're farming anything on Fleets. Like, you know, Marin or a ship. Then you kind of need the, you know, ship energy. But these, you can stack them up pretty good. And then especially with double drops coming up. Uh... It'd be definite worthwhile thing to save up energy for those, which I probably should be doing. Um, let's see. I'm like, I have no idea what I'm trying to slice here. Oops. 
Let me go look at my resistance real quick. Because I think I had Poe with mods that weren't fully done. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And I need to look at... Uh... That Smuggler's eventually, but I'm not too pressed about his. So the thing with double drops is more a matter of which one you want more of. Um, I'm going to play the dangerous balancing act of trying to go for both a decent number of character shards and uh, cryos. But if you need cryos more than anything, I'd go on for those. Like, my favorites list kind of tells you what I'm working on. Uh, these, like Tarful Seer and Saw, I'm trying to get done for Jedi Knight Cal. I need to farm basically shock prods for all of the remaining resistance characters I need because he needs shock prods for his finalizer. So does Poe, Rose, and the resistance pilot. So yeah, and I can get the keypads, keyboards, whatever you want to call them, computers from the store for the uh, get, you know, the get to field of event tokens, whatever you want to call them. But I'm not worried about Poe at the moment. I just need to get other stuff done. So it is more a matter of what do you need the most. Shock prods are definitely, and cryos as a whole, are definitely worth while to go for. Um, and yeah, it just depends on what you need then and there. All right. Well, that's probably going to wrap it up for me for today. I didn't honestly expect to win after seeing the score my opponent had put up for Conquest. But, um, yeah. I am going to go and try to get my air conditioner to work properly because it is getting up to 80 degrees in my house. And that is not the definition of fun for me. But, uh, yeah. Thank you everyone that showed up. I hope you all enjoyed. If you, you know, haven't already hit like and hit subscribe and all that fun stuff. And... I'll catch you guys later on.